Macau or Macau listen, Chinese, ao men Cantonese, ao, mn, Portuguese, Macau, officially the Macau Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China, is an autonomous territory on the western side of the Pearl River estuary in East Asia. Along with Hong Kong, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Zhuhai, and several other major cities in Guangzhou, the territory forms a core part of the Pearl River Delta metropolitan region. With a population of 650,900 in an area of 30.5 square kilometers, 11.8 square miles, it is the most densely populated region in the world. Macau was formerly a colony of the Portuguese Empire after Ming China leased the territory as a trading post in 1557. Originally governing under Chinese authority and sovereignty, Portugal was given perpetual occupation rights for Macau in 1887. Macau remained under Portuguese control until 1999, when it was returned to China. As a special administrative region, Macau maintains a separate political and economic system apart from mainland China. The People's Republic of China's obligation to run Macau as a special administrative region, per the Joint Declaration on the Question of Macau, expires on 20 December 2049. Macau is the gambling capital of the world. Its economy is heavily dependent on gambling and tourism, and in 2006 it surpassed Las Vegas as the world's largest gambling center by revenue. It has a very high Human Development Index and the fourth highest life expectancy in the world. Macau is among the world's richest regions and its GDP per capita by purchasing power parity was higher than that of any country in the world. In 2015, Macau was ranked as the fastest growing metropolitan area in the world by the Brookings Institution. Etymology The present Chinese name Chinese, Aomen Pinyin, Aomen, Cantonese Yale, Umen means, Bay Outlet. Macau is otherwise known in Chinese as Haojing, Haojing literally, Moat Mirror, or Jinghai, Jinghai literally, Mirror Sea. The name Macau is thought to be derived from the Ma Temple Chinese, Ma Ge Miao Pinyin, Mage Miao, Cantonese Yale, Magic Mia, a temple built in 1448 dedicated to Mazu, the goddess of seafarers and fishermen. More precisely, the name Macau corresponds to the Chinese name, Magang, Pinyin, Magang, meaning, Mazu Harbor, and referring to the waters adjacent to the AMA Temple. History The history of Macau can be traced back to the Qin dynasty 221–206 BC, when the region now called Macau came under the jurisdiction of Pani County, Nanhai Prefecture modern Guangzhou. The first recorded Chinese inhabitants of the area were people seeking refuge in Macau from invading Mongols during the Southern Song. Under the Ming Dynasty (1368–1644), fishermen migrated to Macau from Guangzhou and Fujian. The Macau native people were tanker boat people. Macau did not develop as a major settlement until the Portuguese arrived in the 16th century. In 1513, Jorge Alvarez became the first Portuguese to land in China. In 1535, Portuguese traders obtained the rights to anchor ships in Macau's harbors and to carry out trading activities, though not the right to stay onshore. Around 1552–1553, they obtained temporary permission to erect storage sheds onshore, in order to dry out goods drenched by sea water, they soon built rudimentary stone houses around the area now called Nam Van. Topic: Portuguese Macau. 
1557, the Portuguese established a permanent settlement in Macau, paying an annual rent of 500 taels (18.9 kilograms, 41.6 pounds) of silver. The Portuguese continued to pay an annual tribute up to 1863 in order to stay in Macau. By 1564, Portugal commanded western trade with India, Japan, and China. In 1631, the Chinese restricted Portuguese commerce in China to the port of Macau. During the 17th century, some 5,000 slaves lived in Macau, in addition to 2,000 Portuguese and 20,000 Chinese. As more Portuguese settled in Macau to engage in trade, they made demands for self administration, but this was not achieved until the 1840s. In 1576, Pope Gregory XIII established the Roman Catholic Diocese of Macau. In 1583, the Portuguese in Macau were permitted to form a Senate to handle various issues concerning their social and economic affairs under strict supervision of the Chinese authority, but there was no transfer of sovereignty. Macau prospered as a port, but it was the target of repeated failed attempts by the Dutch to gain possession of it across multiple Dutch raids occurring in the early 1600s. The raids on Macau culminated in the Battle of Macau on 24 June 1622, in which the Portuguese handily repelled the attack. While Dutch raids on Portuguese colonies continued in the coming years, this definitive defeat discouraged any future Dutch attempts to conquer the settlement. The majority of the defenders were African slaves, with only a few Portuguese soldiers and priests. Captain Cornelis Reis Zoon was commander of the 800 strong Dutch invasion force, the grieving Dutch governor Jan Pz. Cohen said after the defeat that the slaves of the Portuguese at Macau served them so well and faithfully, that it was they who defeated and drove away our people there last year. And, our people saw very few Portuguese. During the battle, following the First Opium War 1839 Portugal occupied the empty islands of Taipa and Cologne in 1851 and 1864 respectively. On 1 December 1887, the King and Portuguese government signed the Sino-Portuguese Treaty of Peking, under which China ceded the right of "...perpetual occupation and government of Macau by Portugal," in compliance with the statements of the Protocol of Lisbon. In return, Macau government would cooperate with Hong Kong's smuggling trade in Indian opium and China would profit from imposing customs taxes. Portugal was also obliged, "...never to alienate Macau without previous agreement with China," therefore ensuring that negotiation between Portugal and France regarding a possible exchange of Macau and Portuguese Guinea with the French Congo or with other countries would not go forward, so that the British commercial interests would be secured. Macau officially became a territory under Portuguese administration. In 1928, after the Qing dynasty had been overthrown following the Xinhai Revolution, the Kuomintang KMT government officially notified Portugal that it would abrogate the Treaty of Amity and Commerce. The two powers signed a new Sino Portuguese Friendship and Trade Treaty in place of the abrogated treaty. Changing only a few provisions concerning tariff principles and matters relating to business affairs, the new treaty did not alter the sovereignty of Macau and Portuguese government of Macau remained unchanged. During World War II, unlike Portuguese Timor, which was occupied by the Japanese in 1942 along with Dutch Timor, the Japanese respected Portuguese neutrality in Macau, but only up to a point. Macau enjoyed a brief period of economic prosperity as the only neutral port in South China after the Japanese had occupied Guangzhou and Hong Kong. In August 1943, Japanese troops seized the British steamer Shan in Macau and killed about 20 guards. The next month they demanded the installation of Japanese advisors under the threat of overt military occupation. The result was that a virtual Japanese protectorate was created over Macau. When it was discovered that neutral 
Macau was planning to sell aviation fuel to Japan. Aircraft from the USS Enterprise bombed and strafed the hangar of the Naval Aviation Center on the 16th of January 1945 to destroy the fuel. American air raids on targets in Macau were also made on the 25th of February and the 11th of June 1945. Following Portuguese government protests, in 1950 the United States paid $20,255,952 to the government of Portugal. Between the end of the Pacific War and the establishment of the People's Republic of China, Macau served as a safe haven for refugees of the Chinese Civil War. After the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949, the Beijing government declared the Sino Portuguese. Portuguese treaty invalid as an unequal treaty imposed by foreigners on China. However, Beijing was not ready to settle the treaty question, allowing the maintenance of the status quo until a more appropriate time. Influenced by the Cultural Revolution in mainland China and by general dissatisfaction with Portuguese government, riots broke out in Macau in 1966. In the most serious, the so-called 12-3 incident, six people were killed and more than 200 people were injured. On 28 January 1967, the Portuguese government issued a formal apology by means of an "...admission of guilt." Shortly after Portugal's 1974 Carnation Revolution, which overthrew the Estado Novo dictatorship, the new government determined it would relinquish all its overseas possessions. In 1976, Lisbon redefined Macau as a «Chinese territory under Portuguese administration» and granted it a large measure of administrative, financial, and economic autonomy. Three years later, Portugal and China agreed to regard Macau as a Chinese territory under temporary Portuguese administration. The Chinese and Portuguese governments commenced negotiations on the question of Macau in June 1986. The two signed the Sino-Portuguese Joint Declaration the next year, making Macau one of the special administrative regions of China. Topic. Transfer of sovereignty and SAR status The Chinese government assumed formal sovereignty over Macau on 20 December 1999 as a special administrative region after over 400 years of Portuguese colonial rule. This event also marked the end of the Portuguese Empire and European colonialism in Asia. The economy since then has continued to prosper with the sustained growth of tourism from mainland China and the construction of new casinos. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government and Politics. The Sino-Portuguese Joint Declaration and Macau Basic Law, Macau's constitution, promulgated by China's National People's Congress in 1993, specify that Macau's social and economic system, lifestyle, rights, and freedoms are to remain unchanged for at least 50 years after the transfer of sovereignty to China in 1999. Under the principle of, "...one country, two systems." Macau enjoys a high degree of autonomy in all areas except defense and foreign affairs. Macau officials, rather than PRC officials, run Macau through the exercise of separate executive, legislative, and judicial powers, as well as the right to final adjudication. Macau maintains its own currency the Macanese Patica, customs territory, immigration and border controls and police force. Topic. Executive The government in Macau is headed by the Chief Executive of Macau, who is appointed by the central government upon the recommendation of an election committee, whose 300 members are nominated by corporate and community bodies. The recommendation is made by an election within the committee. 
The Chief Executive's Cabinet is made up of five policy secretaries and two commissariats and is advised by the Executive Council of Macau, which has between seven and eleven members. Edmund Ho, a community leader and former banker, was the first Chief Executive of the Macau SAR, replacing General Vasco Rocha Vieira at midnight on 20 December 1999. Fernando Chui is the current Chief Executive. The Chief Executive and the Cabinet have their offices in the Macau Government Headquarters, located in the area of São Lourenço. Legislature The legislative organ of the Territory is the Legislative Assembly, a 33-member body comprising 14 directly elected members, 12 indirectly elected members representing functional constituencies and 7 members appointed by the Chief Executive. Any permanent residents at or over 18 years of age are eligible to vote in direct elections. Indirect election is limited to organizations registered as corporate voters", and a 300-member election committee drawn from broad regional groupings, municipal organizations, and central government bodies. In February 2009, the Legislative Assembly passed the Macau National Security Law based on a withdrawn security legislation previously introduced in Hong Kong. Democracy advocates feared that the bill's excessively broad scope could lead to abuses, a concern which has been heightened after a number of prominent supporters of democracy in Hong Kong were denied entry into Macau in the run-up to the bill's passage. Judiciary <inaudible> 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 The original framework of the legal system, based largely on the law of Portugal, the Portuguese civil law system, was preserved after 1999. The territory has its own independent judicial system with a high court independent of both the local government and the central people's government of the People's Republic of China. Judges are selected by a committee and appointed by the chief executive. Foreign judges may serve on the courts. The judicial organs of the Macau are the public ministry, the courts of first instance, which are subdivided into the basic judicial court and administrative court, the court of the second instance, and the court of final appeal. The legal system of Macau is essentially based on the model of Portuguese law, and is thus part of the family of continental legal systems. Roman Germanic. From 1987 to 1999, this legal system was completely modernized with a view to the transfer of sovereignty from Macau to the People's Republic of China. Thus, a number of new laws and codes have been adopted, including the Criminal Code 1995, the Civil Code 1999, the Commercial Code 1999, the Criminal Procedure Code 1996 and the Civil Procedure Code 1999. Following the transition, major reforms in the legal system continued, such as the use of Chinese language in courts and legislations. From a constitutional point of view, the Macau legal system is characterized by the existence of a text with constitutional force in the Macau SAR, the basic law of the Macau Special Administrative Region, promulgated by the National People's Congress in 1993. As a rule, the national laws of the People's Republic of China do not apply to Macau, except for those expressly indicated in Annex 3 of the Basic Law. At present, they are 11 and deal with matters not included in the autonomy of the special administrative region, such as national defense and external relations. The gambling sector, being a fundamental economic activity for Macau, is subject to a very developed regulation, thus having a good and developed right of the game. There is no death penalty or life imprisonment in Macau, as they are not covered by the Macau Criminal Code. Military 
Under Portuguese rule, Macau often served as an expeditionary base to Japan and other regions of East Asia from the 16th century onwards, while maintaining a strong garrison mainly to repel Dutch and mainland Chinese attacks. However, since the Allied British settled Hong Kong, the need for a strong military presence in Macau dimmed and it became limited before ceasing in 1974. However, despite having no Portuguese garrison left on the territory, a small security force managed by the local PSP was kept, which proved useful with the escalating triad warfare tensions towards the last decades of Portuguese administration. Also the Capitania dos Portos kept operating a coast guard and the Portuguese Air Force kept airfields active until the opening of Macau International Airport in the mid-1990s. In 1999, upon handover to the PRC, a substantial garrison of the People's Liberation Army was established in the city helping deliver the last blow to the violence perpetrated by the triads, who were weakened by police action and arrests prior to the handover. The garrison remains, with a large portion of the forces stationed in neighboring Zhuhai as well. According to the Article 14, Macau Basic Law, the Central People's Government shall be responsible for the defense of the Macau Special Administrative Region. And the Government of the Macau SAR shall be responsible for the maintenance of public order in the region. <laughs> <laughs> International relations As a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China PRC, Macau's diplomatic relations and defense are the responsibility of the Central People's Government of the PRC. Except diplomatic relations and defense, nonetheless, Macau has retained considerable autonomy in all aspects, including economic and commercial relations, customs control. According to Chapter 7 of Macau's Basic Law, Macau may, on its own, using the name Macau, China or Macau, China, maintain and develop relations and conclude and implement agreements with foreign states and regions and relevant international organizations in the appropriate fields, including the economic, trade, financial and monetary, shipping, communications, tourism, cultural, science and technology, and sports fields. In addition, Macau can participate in international organizations and conferences not limited to states. The Macau government has maintained offices in Lisbon, Taipei, Beijing and in Brussels for the European Union and Geneva for the World Trade Organization. The Special Administrative Region of Macau is member of the World Trade Organization, International Monetary Fund as well as other international cultural and commercial organizations. <laughs> <laughs> administrative divisions Macau is divided into eight parishes. Topic. Geography Macau is situated 60 kilometers 37 miles southwest of Hong Kong and 145 kilometers 90 miles from Guangzhou of mainland China. It also has 41 kilometers 25 miles of coastline, yet only 310 meters 1000 feet of land border with Guangzhou of mainland China. It consists of the Macau Peninsula itself and the islands of Taipa and Cologne, which are now connected by landfill forming Kotai. The peninsula is formed by the Zhu Jiang Pearl River estuary on the east and the Shi Jiang West River on the west. It borders the Zhuhai Special Economic Zone in mainland China. The main border crossing between Macau and China is known as the Portus de Serco barrier gate on the Macau side, and the Gongbei port of entry on the Zhuhai side. Macau Peninsula was originally an island, but a connecting sandbar gradually turned into a narrow isthmus. Land reclamation in the 17th century transformed Macau into a peninsula with generally flat terrain, though numerous steep hills still mark the original land mass. 
Alto de Cologne is the highest point in Macau, with an altitude of 170.6 meters (559.7 feet). With a dense urban environment, Macau has no arable land, pastures, forest, or woodland. In 2015, the Chinese government assigned Macau administrative responsibility for 85 square kilometers (33 square miles) of coastal ocean area. Topic: Climate. Macau has a humid subtropical climate, Köppen climate classification (CWA), despite its low elevation coastal location south of the Tropic of Cancer, with average relative humidity between 75% and 90%. Similar to much of South China, seasonal climate is greatly influenced by the monsoons, and differences in temperature and humidity between summer and winter are noticeable, though not as great as in mainland China. The average annual temperature of Macau is 22.7 degrees Celsius (72.9 degrees Fahrenheit). July is the warmest month, the average temperature being 28.9 degrees Celsius (84.0 degrees Fahrenheit). The coolest month is January with a mean temperature of 14.5 degrees Celsius, 58.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Located on China's southern coast, Macau has ample rainfall with average annual precipitation being 2120 mm (83 in). However, winter is mostly dry due to the influence of the vast Siberian high affecting much of East Asia. Autumn in Macau, from October to November, is sunny and still pleasantly warm with lower humidity. Winter December to early March is generally mild with temperatures above 13 degrees Celsius 55 degrees Fahrenheit most of the time, although they can drop below 8 degrees Celsius 46 degrees Fahrenheit at times. Humidity starts to increase from late March. Summer is very warm to hot often rising above 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. The hot weather is often followed by heavy rain, thunderstorms and occasional typhoons. Notice that the climate is similar to Hong Kong's due to proximity. Topic: <inaudible> Economy <inaudible> Macau's economy is based largely on tourism. Other chief economic activities in Macau are export-geared textile and garment manufacturing, banking and other financial services. The clothing industry provides about three-quarters of export earnings, and the gambling, tourism and hospitality industry is estimated to contribute more than 50% of Macau's GDP, and 70% of Macau government revenue. Macau is a founding member of the WTO and has maintained sound economic and trade relations with more than 120 countries and regions, with European Union and Portuguese-speaking countries in particular. Macau is also also a member of the IMF. The World Bank classifies Macau as a high-income economy and the GDP per capita of the region in 2006 was $28,436. After the 1999 handover, China eased travel restrictions and visits from the mainland rose rapidly. Together with the liberalization of Macau's gambling industry in 2001, which induced significant investment inflows, the average growth rate of the economy between 2001 and 2006 was approximately 13.1% annually. In a World Tourism Organization report of international tourism for 2006, Macau ranked 21st in the number of tourists and 24th in terms of tourism receipts. From 9.1 million visitors in 2000, arrivals to Macau has grown to 18.7 million visitors in 2005 and 22 million visitors in 2006, with over 50% of the arrivals coming from mainland China and another 30% from Hong Kong. Starting in 1962, the gambling industry had been operated under a government issued monopoly license by Stanley Ho's Sociedad de Turismo e Diverse. De Macau. 
The monopoly ended in 2002 and several casino owners from Las Vegas attempted to enter the market. With the opening of the Sands Macau, in 2004 and Wynn Macau in 2006, gambling revenues from Macau's casinos grew considerably prosperous. In 2007, Venetian Macau, at the time the second in 2017 is seventh largest building in the world by floor area, opened its doors to the public, followed by MGM Grand Macau. Numerous other hotel casinos, including Galaxy Kotai Mega Resort, opened in 2011, and plans for a $3.9 billion complex that will be known as Lisboa Palace is expected to be completed by 2017. In February 2015, the gambling revenue in Macau fell by 48.6% from a year earlier to 19.5 billion patakas, $2.4 billion, the biggest monthly decline that has ever been recorded. Reasons for this fall of revenue are related to the slowdown that the Chinese economy is having and a corruption crackdown by Chinese officials which has constrained lavish spending. In 2002, the Macau government ended the monopoly system and six casino operating concessions and subconcessions are granted to Sociedad de Turismo e Diversos de Macau, Wynn Resorts, Las Vegas Sands, Galaxy Entertainment Group, the partnership of MGM Mirage and Panzer. Ho, daughter of Stanley Ho, and the partnership of Melco and Publishing and Broadcasting Limited (PBL). Today, there are 16 casinos operated by the STDM, and they are still crucial in the casino industry in Macau. But in 2004, the opening of the Sands Macau ushered in the new era. Gambling revenue has made Macau the world's top casino market, surpassing Las Vegas. The amount of performances performed in Macau has also shown an increasing trend since the early 2010s, including the show House of Dancing Water, concerts, industry trade shows, and international art crossovers. Macau is an offshore financial center, a tax haven, and a free port with no foreign exchange control regimes. The Monetary Authority of Macau regulates offshore finance, while the Macau Trade and Investment Promotion Institute provides services for investment in Macau. In 2007, Moody's Investors Service upgraded Macau's foreign and local currency government issuer ratings to AA3 from A1, citing its government's solid finances as a large net creditor. The rating agency also upgraded Macau's foreign currency bank deposit ceiling to AA3 from A1, as prescribed by the Macau Basic Law. The government follows the principle of keeping expenditure within the limits of revenues in drawing up its budget, and strives to achieve a fiscal balance, avoid deficits, and keep the budget commensurate with the growth rate of its gross domestic product. All financial revenue of the Macau Special Administrative Region shall be managed and controlled by the region itself and shall not be handed over to the Central People's Government. The Central People's Government shall not levy any taxes in the Macau Special Administrative Region. <laughs> Monetary system In Macau, the unit of currency is the patika, which is currently pegged to the Hong Kong dollar at a rate of one dollar equals one Macanese patika and three avos. The name patika is a Portuguese word which was applied to the Mexican dollars that were the main circulating coin in the wider region in the second half of the 19th century. In 1894, the patica was introduced in both Macau and Portuguese Timor as a unit of account for the Mexican dollar and the other silver dollar coins in circulation. However, the patica was not the official currency when it was first enacted. In 1901, it was decided to grant the Banco Nacional Ultramarino the exclusive rights to issue banknotes denominated in patacas, and in the year 1906, all foreign coins were outlawed. 
However, the Chinese were suspicious of these paper patakas, being so accustomed to using silver for barter, and as such, the paper patakas circulated at a discount in relation to the silver dollar coins. In 1935, when China and Hong Kong abandoned the silver standard, the Hong Kong dollar was pegged to sterling at the fixed rate of 1 shilling and 3 pence, whereas the patica was pegged to the Portuguese escudo at a sterling equivalent rate of only 1 shilling. From 1945 to 1951, fractional coins of the Patica were minted for issue in Portuguese Timor, and, in 1952, similar issues were minted for Macau including an actual Patica coin for the first time. Demographics <laughs> 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 Macau is the most densely populated region in the world, with a population density of 21,185.28 persons per square kilometre in 2016. Han Chinese make up 95% of Macau's population, another 2% is of Portuguese and or mixed Asian Chinese, Japanese, Malay, Sinhalese and Goan and Portuguese descent, an ethnic group often referred to as Macanese. According to the 2006 by census, 47% of the residents were born in mainland China, of whom 74.1% were born in Guangzhou and 15.2% in Fujian. Meanwhile, 42.5% of the residents were born in Macau, and those born in Hong Kong, the Philippines and Portugal shared 3.7%, 2.0% and 0.3% respectively. The growth of population in Macau mainly relies on immigrants from mainland China and the influx of overseas workers since its birth rate is one of the lowest in the world. According to the World Factbook, Macau has the fourth highest life expectancy in the world, while its infant mortality rate ranks among the lowest in the world. Language Macau's official languages are Chinese Cantonese and Portuguese. Macau still retains its own dialect of Portuguese, called Macanese Portuguese. Other languages, such as Mandarin, English, and Hokkien, are spoken by local communities. The Macanese language, a distinctive creole generally known as Patua, is still spoken by several dozen Macanese. By 2015, the Macau government was publishing English language documents, and beginning in 2000, the Macau Government Information Bureau (GCS) has been releasing several portions of its policy address in the English language. Andrew Moody, an associate professor of the University of Macau, argued in his 2008 essay, "'Macau English, Status, Functions and Forms' that, in the words of Caterina Pinto of the Macau Daily Times, the English language is, "'In practice, a de facto official language of the territory' The percentage of the population using English as their primary language increased from 1.5 in 2006 to 2.3 in 2011. Topic: <laughs> Employment. Since Macau has an economy driven by tourism, 14.6% of the workforce is employed in restaurants and hotels, and 10.3% in the gambling industry. With the opening of several casino resorts and other major constructions underway, many sectors reportedly experience a shortage of labor, and the government seeks to import labor from neighboring regions. The number of foreign workers stood at a record high of 98,505 in the second quarter of 2008, representing more than 25% of the labor force in Macau. Some local workers complain about the lack of jobs due to the influx of cheap imported labor. Some also claim that the problem of illegal labor is severe. Another concern is the widening of income inequality in the region. 
Macau's Gini coefficient, a popular measure of income inequality where a low value indicates a more equal income distribution, rose from 0.43 in 1998 to 0.48 in 2006. It is higher than those of neighboring regions, such as mainland China South Korea and Singapore Religion Macau residents are endowed with considerable religious tolerance and freedom. Most Chinese in Macau are profoundly influenced by their own tradition and culture. While most are not religiously affiliated, many take part in Chinese folk religion Taoism and Confucianism. According to a survey conducted in 2005, 2007 and 2009, 55% of the population do not declare religious affiliation, 30% follows folk faiths, 10% are adherents of Buddhism or Taoism, and the remaining 5% are Christians. Most Christians in Macau are members of the Catholic Church, which is organized and structured in Macau in the Diocese of Macau. Infrastructure Education A 15-year free education is currently being offered to residents, that includes a three-year kindergarten, followed by a six-year primary education and a six-year secondary education. The literacy rate of the territory is 93.5%. The illiterates are mainly among the senior residents aged 65 or above, the younger generation, for example the population aged 15 to 29, has a literacy rate of above 99%. Currently, there is only one school in Macau where Portuguese is the medium of instruction, Macau Portuguese School. Macau does not have its own region wide education system. Non tertiary schools follow either the British, the Chinese, Portuguese, or the Canadian education system. There are currently ten tertiary educational institutions in the region, four of them being public. In 2006, the Programme for International Student Assessment, a worldwide test of 15-year-old schoolchildren's scholastic performance coordinated by OECD, ranked Macau as the fifth and sixth in science and problem-solving respectively. Nevertheless, educational attainment in Macau is relatively low when compared to other high-income countries. According to the 2006 by census, among the resident population aged 14 and above, only 51.8% has a secondary education and 12.6% has a tertiary education, as prescribed by the Macau Basic Law Chapter 6 Article 121. The government of Macau shall on its own formulate policies on education, including policies regarding the educational system and its administration, the language language of instruction, the allocation of funds, the examination system, the recognition of educational qualifications, and the system of academic awards so as to promote educational development. The government shall also in accordance with law, gradually institute a compulsory education system. Community organizations and individuals may, in accordance with law, run educational undertakings of various kinds. Health care Macau is served by one major public hospital, the Hospital Cond S. Januario, and one major private hospital, the Kiang Wu Hospital, both located in Macau Peninsula, as well as a university-associated hospital called Macau University of Science and Technology Hospital in Kotai. In addition to hospitals, Macau also has numerous health centers providing free basic medical care to residents. Consultation in traditional Chinese medicine is also available. None of the Macau hospitals are independently assessed through international healthcare accreditation. 
There are no Western-style medical schools in Macau, and thus all aspiring physicians in Macau have to obtain their education and qualification elsewhere. Local nurses are trained at the Macau Polytechnic Institute and the Kiang Wu Nursing College. Currently there are no training courses in midwifery in Macau. A study by the University of Macau, commissioned by the Macau SA government, concluded that Macau is too small to have its own medical specialist training center. The Macau Corps of Firefighters, Portuguese Corpo de Bombeiros de Macau, is responsible for ambulance service, Ambulancia de Macau. The Macau Red Cross also operates ambulances Toyota Hiace vans for emergency and non-emergencies to local hospitals with volunteer staff. The organization has a total of 739 uniformed firefighters and paramedics serving from seven stations in Macau. The Health Bureau in Macau is mainly responsible for coordinating the activities between the public and private organizations in the area of public health, and assure the health of citizens through specialized and primary health care services, as well as disease prevention and health promotion. The Macau Center for Disease Control and Prevention was established in 2001, which monitors the operation of hospitals, health centers, and the blood transfusion center in Macau. It also handles the organization of care and prevention of diseases affecting the population, sets guidelines for hospitals and private healthcare providers, and issues licenses. As of 2016, Macau healthcare authorities send patients to Queen Mary Hospital in Hong Kong in instances where the local Macau hospitals are not equipped to deal with their scenarios, and many Macau residents intentionally seek healthcare in Hong Kong because they place more trust in Hong Kong doctors than in mainland trained doctors operating in Macau. Transport In Macau, traffic drives on the left, unlike in either mainland China or Portugal, but like neighboring Hong Kong. Macau has a well-established public transport network connecting the Macau Peninsula, Kotai, Taipa Island and Cologne Island. Buses and taxis are the major modes of public transport in Macau. Currently two companies, Transmac and Transportes Companhia de Macau operate franchised public bus services in Macau. The trishaw, a hybrid of the tricycle and the rickshaw, is also available, though it is mainly for sightseeing purposes. Macau has two public bus operators, Transmac and Transportes Colitivos de Macau, which operate routes covering most of the city, making it the best public transport for traveling inside Macau and its islands. Free casino shuttle buses are everywhere in Macau. Due to tourism being the main economic industry in Macau a majority of the larger hotels provide free round-trip shuttle bus services which cover the major tourist sites including the airport, Outer Harbour Ferry Terminal, Taipa Temporary Ferry Terminal and other sites. Some larger hotels such as Venetian Hotel and Holiday Inn even provide a free shuttle between them. The frequency for each route is usually 15 minutes. The taxi system is noted for having a notoriously poor reputation among tourists and even locals. Common complaints include, "...constant overcharging, refusal of passengers when the destination or passenger type does not suit the driver, circuitous routes and even violent behavior." In recent years, the Macau government have been making attempts to hold drivers to a higher standard of service through methods such as undercover police prosecuting drivers who violate the taxi regulations on the spot. The Outer Harbour Ferry Terminal and the Taipa Ferry Terminal provides cross border transportation services for passengers travelling between Macau and Hong Kong, while the Ua Tung Terminal in the Inner Harbour serves those travelling between Macau and cities in mainland China. China, including Sheku and Shenzhen, the Macau Light Rail Transit or Macau LRT also known as Metro Ligero de Macau is a mass transit system in Macau under construction. 
it will serve the Macau Peninsula, Taipra and Kotai, serving major border checkpoints such as the Border Gate, the Outer Harbour Ferry Terminal, the Lotus Bridge Border and the Macau International Airport. It is planned to open in 2019. Macau has one active international airport, known as Macau International Airport located at the eastern end of Taipa and neighboring waters. The airport used to serve as one of the main transit hubs for passengers traveling between mainland China and Taiwan, but now with the introduction of direct flights between those two regions, passenger traffic in this regard has lessened. It is the primary hub for Air Macau. In 2006, the airport handled about 5 million passengers. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Public safety and military. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Police and law enforcement. Topic: Firefighting. Topic: Anti-corruption. Topic: Culture. The mixing of the Chinese and Portuguese cultures and religious traditions for more than four centuries has left Macau with an inimitable collection of holidays, festivals and events. The biggest event of the year is the Macau Grand Prix in November, when the main streets in Macau Peninsula are converted to a racetrack bearing similarities with the Monaco Grand Prix. Other annual events include Macau Arts Festival in March, the International Fireworks Display Contest in September, the International Music Festival in October and or November, and the Macau International Marathon in December. The Lunar Chinese New Year is the most important traditional festival and celebration normally takes place in late January or early February. The Po Tai Yuan Temple in Taipa is the place for the Feast of Tu Tei, the Earth God, in February. The Procession of the Passion of Our Lord is a well-known Roman Catholic rite and journey, which travels from St. Austin's Church to the Cathedral, also taking place in February. A Ma Temple, which honors the goddess Matsu, is in full swing in April with many worshippers celebrating the A Ma Festival. In May it is common to see dancing dragons at the Feast of the Drunken Dragon and twinkling clean Buddhas at the Feast of the Bathing of Lord Buddha. In Cologne Village, the Taoist god Tam Kong is also honored on the same day. Dragon Boat Festival is brought into play on Nam Van Lake in June and Hungry Ghosts Festival, in late August and or early September every year. All events and festivities of the year end with winter solstice in December. Macau preserves many historical properties in the urban area. The historic center of Macau, which includes some 25 historic locations, was officially listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO on 15 July 2005 during the 29th session of the World Heritage Committee, held in Durban, South Africa. However, the Macau government is criticized for ignoring the conservation of heritage in urban planning. In 2007, local residents of Macau wrote a letter to UNESCO complaining about construction projects around World Heritage Gear Lighthouse focal height 108 meters, including the headquarter of the Liaison Office 91 meters. UNESCO then issued a warning to the Macau government, which led former Chief Executive Edmund Ho to sign a notice regulating height restrictions on buildings around the site. In 2015, the new Macau Association submitted a report to UNESCO claiming that the government had failed to protect Macau's cultural heritage against threats by urban development projects. One of the main examples of the report is that the headquarter of the Liaison Office of the Central People's Government, which is located on the Gia foothill and obstructs the view of the Gia Fortress one of the World Heritage's symbols of Macau. 
One year later, Roni Amelin, a spokesman from UNESCO Press Service, said that the UNESCO has asked China for information and is still waiting for a reply. In 2016, the Macau government approved an 81-meter construction limit for the residential project, which reportedly goes against the city's regulations on the height of buildings around World Heritage Site Gear Lighthouse. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Local cooking in Macau consists of a blend of Cantonese and Portuguese cuisines. Many unique dishes resulted from the spice blends that the wives of Portuguese sailors used in an attempt to replicate European dishes. Its ingredients and seasonings include those from Europe, South America, Africa, India, and Southeast Asia, as well as local Chinese ingredients. Typically, Macanese food is seasoned with various spices and flavors including turmeric, coconut milk, cinnamon and bakulhau, giving special aromas and tastes. Famous dishes include minchi, capella, galinha a portuguesa, galinha a africana African chicken, bakulhau, Macanese chili shrimps and stir-fry curry crab. Pork chop bun, ginger milk and Portuguese-style egg tart are also very popular in Macau. Sports In general, football soccer has the greatest popularity in Macau, which has a representative international side, the Macau national football team. The Liga de Elite is the city's semi-professional league, where the Big Three professional football clubs of Portugal have their own branches, SL. Benfica de Macau, Sporting Clube de Macau, and FC Porto de Macau, although Porto has not participated in the league since 2012. Another common sport is rink hockey, which is often practiced by the Portuguese. The national team of Macau is the most powerful of Asia, always participates in the Rink Hockey World Championship in B category and has many Rink Hockey Asian Championship titles. The last championship was won in Lishui, Zhejiang, at the 2016 Asian Roller Hockey Championship. Macau also has a basketball team, which qualified for the Asian Basketball Championship twice. The automobile racing event Macau Grand Prix is arguably the most important international sporting event in Macau, mainly with Formula 3, motorcycle road racing and touring car races. Since 1989, Macau owns a thoroughbred horse racing track called Taipur Racecourse operated by the Macau Jockey Club. The racecourse has a 15,000 seat grandstand. Notable people Stanley Ho, business magnate, father of Macau gambling industry Xi'an Xinghai spelt as Xian H. Xinghai during his era, musician and composer during Sino-Japanese War, known work included Yellow River Cantata Michelle Rice, Hong Kong actress and former Miss Hong Kong Edmund Ho, business leader, chief executive of Macau Sa Jenny Seng, Cantonese pop singer and actress in the 1970s and 1980s Ming-Na Wen, TV and movie actress, one of the first Chinese-American actresses with a contract role <laughs> Sister cities Macau is twinned with Topic See also Index of Macau related articles Outline of Macau Quiheng New Area since the 31st of March 2013 a cooperation pilot zone with Macau